Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm Dean and this is our daughter Maya and we are the Travel Book family. Our mission is to show you the best of what the world has to offer and inspire you to do it together as a family. Just because we had a baby, it hasn't slowed us down. Maya's been to 13 destinations and she loves to travel. And the best part is that we get to enjoy it together as a family and we love to encourage you to do the same. Travel Book family is in Kaolak, which is near Phuket, about one hour drive from Phuket International Airport. And it's stunning here, as you would expect. <laughs> With the familia for some action time. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit different than Kosamui or Phuket or the, or the usual places, mm. right? Yeah, it's very traditional. This resort that we're staying in is one of three resorts that this hotel group owns. One of them is Oriental, uh, the second one is uh, The Haven, and the third one is Bandari Resort in Spa Kaolak. And we chose to stay here because this resort is family friendly. So we brought uh, Maya and we brought the nanny. <laughs> Maya and Kuroi are gonna stay here. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful room. Are you happy to be at Bandari? And it's, it's more importantly, the air is so fresh here, and it's uh, you know it's it's really great uh, architecture. It's uh, very Thai, you know, a little old school, but you feel like it's, you're it's traveling cute. back in time, yeah, in Thailand. Yeah. And the Thai food is oh, amazing. Everything uh, is great. They love kids, they welcome kids almost everywhere, and there's just always something to do. One of the great perks also at the airport, you get to always go for the you know, kids priority, friendly uh, priority, priority line. line. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend you guys to have a kid because you, you can skip all those lines oh. at the airport.
nice. You can just throw them in the water. that we checked out, the Haven, is actually adults only. Uh, so they only allow kids over 12 years old. But we decided that we're going to do our love ceremony at the Haven. And a little backstory about the love ceremony. When Dean and I first started dating, we thought that we don't really want to have a traditional, typical wedding. Why do we have to follow sure. the trends? Yeah. I mean, it's not us. So we thought, we want to renew our love over and over again. We want to do love ceremonies every couple of years or whenever the mood strikes and whenever we feel that uh, the opportunity is perfect and just be spontaneous. And whoever's there, whoever of our friends can come and join us, they can come. And if not, it's just us.
love ceremony actually was so perfect because that's exactly what we want. It's so us. It's beachfront, uh, just flowers on the sand, walking down with the saxophone playing. It was so romantic. It was very romantic. Oh my god, yeah. I think I almost cried. Did you? <laughs> I think I almost drew a tear, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the next time we're gonna have to do another love ceremony in a couple of years when Maya is old enough to understand and she can be a little flower girl throwing flower petals everywhere. It was such a special moment for us. Uh, I think what I liked the most about the Haven, it was, uh, you know, it's right in front of the beach, and also uh, when you come out of your villa, you can just jump directly in the water. So it could be the first thing that you do in your morning, even before you take your coffee. So it's, yeah. it was a really cool experience. It's so perfect. They've got a jacuzzi right in front of them. This is one of five swimming pools at the resort and it's 300 meters long, this one, amazing. Nobody else could know what we become. The area we're staying here is Kaulak, which is actually one of the worst affected areas of the tsunami that happened back in 2004, uh, right here in this area of Thailand. And I think it probably was the most devastating um, park right here in Kaulak. Yeah, yeah. I think everything was just washed out into sea. There's only a couple of things left and right here in the hotel there's um, a tree that was the only thing left Yeah, we the whole have resort so they had to rebuild everything. That was a strong tree and uh, survived that, yeah. you know, that powerful wave and yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
um, also we are going to go to the orphanage that we have been working with for the last couple of years and the orphanage is called Home and Life Foundation Home and Life Foundation which is for the kids that have lost their parents in the tsunami All the cakes and all the handicrafts that are made here by the kids, like the okay, here, uh, are actually sold in the shop uh, for the um, donations and the profits that help sustain this wonderful home for the kids. So we're making a cake today for the kids to eat. Yes, yes, to get the yeah, we eat together. Yay! Super happy to be here again at uh, Home and Life Foundation with Kun Rud, who runs this project, which is amazing. We've been here, been coming here for about four years now, if I if I not run. And every time we travel, we want to identify projects or around the places that the destinations that we go, and and we see what we can do in order to help those projects. So this time. We decided that this year we are going to build monkey bars for the kids. Like little playgrounds like this. Like little back. playgrounds. And it's, uh, it's been, so far it's been an amazing opportunity. And uh, you see the, the final product is almost there. Yeah, and uh, we try to do different things, but I think definitely this is one small way that we can help out with the uh, local communities and the places that we travel to. And uh, here with Travel Book, we want to give give back a little bit. We want to give back to the community and you know it's, it's, it's a great thing to do. So wherever you travel and, and you try to find identify projects around there that are really good for the community and do whatever you can in order to help them you know. It could be as simple as contacting Conrad and ask him you know the wish list what he needs in order to improve the kids life so you know this is it. here at the Home and Life Foundation with the manager and the father, the dad to the kids at the Home and Life Foundation, Kun Ruth. Yes. And uh, could you please tell us a little bit about this orphanage? How many kids do you have? Uh, we have 25 kids right now uh, set up. They invite it here like a whole family, one family. And like they're there. Mm -hmm. I established the foundation since 2006 mm -hmm. after she 
soon amidst two years. So these are uh, kids who have lost their parents in the tsunami? Most of them. Most of, Most of them. them, yes. But uh, right now, growing up with the ideology and have uh, many people come to support, like a Thai people and foreigner. So right now we're growing up with the idea of something from the children seen about 10 years ago, 15 children right now, 25 years. See, well, this is a wonderful place for them to grow up. I can see how happy they are. And we're so happy that we get to help out and in any way that we can. And yep. for the last couple of years, we've been coming here Songkran. and seeing Songkran yes. and then a few more times. So we're just happy to see the kids growing up happy. And uh, you're doing such a wonderful job. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dean, and we are having such amazing time here in Kaolak, so... We love Bandari Resort and Spa, we love the Haven, we're just so happy that we got the chance to come here. I really love the energy here because it feels a lot more of Thailand, um, and it's, 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 it's amazing. Come and explore, uh, you will get surprised what you get. <laughs> 